Welcome back to Dalrymn Models. So in this video, as you can see, I'm going to be working on the wheels and I'll be doing the brake assembly and all the hubs and everything. So just getting all the pieces together, as you can see there's quite a few. So looking at the wheel detail, you can see there you've got some moulded in wheel nuts which we will be dealing with to start with. So what I'm going to do is get a needle tipped uh, scriber and I'm just going to mark a centre hole in each of them for now. So I know on my last alpha model build that I did the Ferrari 512 I drilled these out and replaced them with turned metal pieces but in this one I'm going to show you a different technique just as a different option not for any particular reason other than, other than variety. So as you can see I've just marked out three holes and then I'm just going to get a drill piece and I'm just going to drill out the centre of them but not go all the way through just enough to make an indentation like that and then just go around the other four. So because the parts are slightly rounded over that's why you used the needle part first just to mark the centre so the drill bit doesn't slip otherwise you'd be making a mess at this point. So there's the other option that you've got for the turn pieces. So once it's all painted we'll see how it looks. So here's the main part for the brakes which I'm just going to cut off this sprue. So this is just the centre piece that the photo etch attaches to. And I'll just give them a bit of a clean up. With it being resin it's very soft so it doesn't need a lot at all to do this part. I'll get one of my painting sticks just to mount it on that ready for painting. So paint of choice for this one is Mr Surfacer Grey which I've decanted so that I can use it through the airbrush. So I'm just starting with the inner part of the wheels first. So that's the first one done. As you can see the paint goes down really smooth on that one. So next up is the Metal X Primer for the part the front of the brake parts. So there's eight of these in total because there's two for each side of the four wheels. I like to go at different angles with it just to make sure that I've got a full coverage rather than just going straight on and then you find even this bit later on. So next up I'm going to be using Zero Paints Steel from their metal range for the fronts of these discs. So there was an option on the actual car for carbon ceramic brakes but I opted to go with the steel for these ones. I can't show you the actual paint colour that I used for the wheels because it was custom mix. Um, trial and error basically with my 1-1 wheels on, on the real car. So it was as close as a match as I could get in comparison. So, But as I said I can't show you what it was because it wasn't any particular real mix that I made. So the same as I did with the primary, just did the inside first and then went around the outside. Just do the same for the rest of them.
So here's the completed wheel done now with that colour. So you can see it's a sort of metallic grey rather than black or silver. So now for clear coat, which is the Mr. Colour you just saw. So same process again, do the inside of the wheel first and then the front side. So we'll pick up the wheels in a bit, but moving back onto the brakes, as you can see, these are painted now, and I just did some detail painting off camera, and I opted to go for the carbon ceramic effect afterwards anyway, and went back over them with that rather than sticking with the steel. And as you can see, I've used the, I've painted the calipers as well. So just getting some super glue. And this is the Bob Smith gold that you've seen me use in other videos. So I just checked to start with which one goes on where and as you can possibly see there's a bit of paint moved off the side of the rotor on that front one and that was from when I was test fitting the caliper because it was a bit of a tight fit but it's going to get covered up with caliper so I'm not overly bothered about that so those center pieces on the outer rim were painted with the silver I think it was, or the steel. So that's one done and then let's go through the rest of them. final touch for the wheels I'm going to be adding some air valves to them there's already holes in the wheels molded in ready to take these although they don't actually fit any in the kit so I'm just using these aftermarket ones when they come out of the bag so you can say if I zoom in it's quite a lot of detail in something that's so small but it does add a nice finishing touch to it and you can see the wheel after it's been glossed which zoomed in, it does look a bit um, grainy, but you've got to think that I am zoomed right in. So in when you're looking at it normally, it doesn't look like that. So I've got the decals to put on, which are metal decals 
rather than normal ones, but they still go on with water like normal decals, and then they just go in the sensor. And with my OCD, I want to line them up with where the valves are. Not for any real reason, just why not? You can possibly see the wheel nuts in the centre of the wheels as well, if my camera focuses. I shall show you the wheel at the end anyway. So there you go, that's the completed wheel. And as you can see I picked out the wheel nuts with some silver paint as well with a small brush. So just need the tires to finish them off. The tyres in the kit are quite nicely moulded as well and a nice fit. They're a little bit, some of them are a little bit on the loose side. So you could put a little bit of super glue on the back of them if, if need be. But for a static model it's not it's not the end of the world. So that's all four wheels. So there's the brakes. So I was just test fitting the calipers and seeing how they go. <clears throat> so what you've got, as you see that one I've completed it now and it's all calipers detailed up. So on the on the rear ones you've got two holes because you've got the handbrake as well as the main foot brake. So separate calipers for each. And then they're directional as well, so you need to make sure you get the right one on the right side. So the one that's on the right side on that is for the normal brake, for the foot brake, and then the one that's in the corner is for the handbrake. So that just fits in there like that. That one sits up there and then they go over the disc like that. I did have to do a bit of scraping on the pieces as well to actually get them to fit properly because as you can see it is a tight fit. So there you go, gone and scrape some of the paint off and then I need to do the same on that one. So after after a bit of test fitting and seeing how it is, I can go into gluing it on. So what I found is by doing one first to position it, it allows me to to get that that one piece in place and could locate the actual brake rotor, and then I've got the line up for the next hole for the for the other caliper to get it in the right place. see it's gonna it's gonna line up nicely there and after I've cleaned up the inside so that it doesn't snag it's time for some paint like glue rather not paint I've already painted it so as you can see it 
lines up perfectly and it's a nice nice fit at this point. And then it goes inside the wheel like that. And that will be your completed one on the right hand side of the car. So time to fit them to the body. So I've done some work on the underside pieces as well. So as you can see there's the front splitter which I showed doing the carbon in the in an earlier video and I've also painted the rear diffuser and the under tray as well and done the exhaust tips on that as well which I did off camera because I wanted to keep this video about the wheels and brakes rather than mixing it all together so it's a bit of a tight fit as you can see there it's not lining up and so I had to be a bit careful fitting that to not damage the bodywork because it's quite thin at that point so there you go that's it if I zoom out um, that's it all fitted now and it's looking good so there's the chassis plate as I showed you so I'm putting that on while I'm putting the front splitter on just so that it lines it up um, there are holes there but what I didn't want to do was put the splitter on, line it up with those holes and then find that the the under tray doesn't fit properly so I'm doing it this way so then I know that it's going to fit properly So back to the wheels, there's the four wheels all completed with the brakes attached to them and everything. And so that's one of the front ones. And as you can see they are looking pretty smart once they're all, all put together. And then that's one of the rear ones. I think the colour of the wheels is, is pretty close to the originals as well so I'm quite happy with that mix. So, time to get them fitted. So, just gonna put some glue in there. And then, uh, these are slightly tapered as well, so they'll only fit in one way. And it's just a case of holding it while the glue dries. Or sets enough for it to stay in the right place anyway. On to the second side and same again. same again for the rears. There's actually more to, um, to these ones for gluing areas, you can see they're quite a bit longer so there's more surface area to put glue on.
So that's the wheels all fitted now and the glue's dried. So you can see there both sides. You need to check your reference photos to make sure your calipers are in the right location and orientation as far as the backs go particularly because the handbrake caliper as well. So I think it's looking looking okay and the gap between the arches is about right as well. So I'm all happy with that. So there you go, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. So see you next time.